Hi everyone, during this professional development, I will be introducing an online tool called Edulastic. Edulastic is a tool that administers assessments that are aligned to state standards. It also allows the ability to monitor students in real time and collects data. After this video, you will learn how to implement this tool and utilize instant data, which will also address the assessment and evaluation scoring that my school scored in in the beginning category of the surveys that we performed. So starting off, when you go on to Edulastic, you go to edulastic.com. And if you go there, you can sign up for a free account. You can either sign up as a teacher, a student, or an administrator. And when you sign up for the account, you can also uh, log in with your Google account. And that way you don't have to create a new password. It does integrate with Google and Google Classroom. And so once you create that account, you can create classes. As you see here on my screen, these are the two classes that I have. And once you go onto your main screen and log on, you will see your classes and you will see assignments. And this number just shows how many assignments I've created so far. And the most recent assignment that your class has taken will show here. When you are ready to create an assignment, uh, you can click here where it has the question mark on this icon. And when you click here, it will come up different items and you can click into the entire library author by me means a test that i've created that share with me favorites folder when you scroll down you can click your grade level you can click the subject area that you want to create an assignment for you can create you can create different assessments with different standards. I have Louisiana student standards for math selected here. Uh, you can also click the type of questions, the depth, the level of difficulty, and you can tag your assessments. Once you get here, it's going to show all the different questions that you can choose from depending on the standards that you selected. It's gonna show which standards are covered and you can add them and create an assessment. Once you create an assessment, it will be listed under your assignments and you can choose to either assign the assignment right away or you can pre-make your assignments or your assessments and then assign them at a later date. You can choose that, you can choose how long the assessments are open for the students to be able to assess them. You can choose uh, the due dates. Those type of things are strictly up to you. You can also post the assessment to Google Classroom if you happen to use Google Classroom and it will automatically sync with your Google Classroom and make an assignment for them under classwork to actually just click there and it will go directly to the assessment that you've created. Once you have created the assessments and the students have taken them, you can click on insights and you can click the form that will give you the actual real-time data on your students. So it will give you the data for the class as a whole, and it will also give you individual data for each student. And you know if they have mastered those skills. You can see which skills they have mastered, which standards, and which ones they haven't. And that way you know immediately how to pinpoint what skills that these students have not mastered and you can give them remediation or extra practice on those skills that they need to work on. Again, this is a great tool to use with the students. It will drive your instruction by utilizing data uh, tremendously. It helps to pinpoint exactly what your students need and you're able to give immediate